Which you guys in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to reset our browser or web browser back to its default settings. Now we're going to be looking at Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Opria and uh, Safari. Now it may be a case that you've had malware on the system then it's now changed the proxy settings and your browser's not working properly or you may have had toolbars on there or add-ons or stuff like that and, and this has caused problems with your browser. It might not be related to malware at all, it just may be the fact that your browser has now become corrupted and uh, it needs to be reset back. So I'm going to show you how to do this in all of these uh, commonly used browsers today. Now as I said, this will reset everything in your browser, i.e. advanced settings, privacy settings, uh, anything like that, it will reset it back to defaults. So let's start off with Internet Explorer. I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. Now we're on a Windows 8 machine here. This does work with any Windows operating system. Now as you can see here, there is no little menu bar up here. And all you need to do is come to this wider area up the top of the browser. I'm going to right click on this and we're going to click on menu bar. And this will add our little menu bar back in. I'm going to go to tools here, internet options. And as you can see here, there's some tabs at the top. We need to go to advanced and you will see a reset and it should say reset Internet Explorer settings. Click on this and then this box will pop up. Now once you get this box popping up, you want to delete all your personal settings. Make sure that you have all your passwords and stuff like that on there. It will give you a list of stuff that it's going to reset. It's good to do this because this will reset the browser back to defaults. Click reset and you'll see it working away. We can now close this off. And when we reopen our browser, that will be back to defaults. Okay, let's have a look at Google Chrome. So if you're using Google Chrome, this one's pretty simple. You wanna come up to the top right hand side here where it's got these three little bars here. Click on this. And what you wanna do is come down to where it says settings, hit settings. Now all the way down to the bottom here, you should see something saying shown or show advanced settings. Click on this and then we're going to scroll down with our wheel, come all the way down to the bottom and it says reset browser settings. We're going to hit this and again what's going to happen um, is going to reset everything back okay and it will give you a list of some of the stuff that is going to uh, reset back i.e. extensions and whatnot. I'm going to reset this back and that one's done. So when you close the browser off and reopen it, it should be back to defaults and hopefully your problem will be resolved. Let's have a look at uh, Mozilla Firefox here. Now Mozilla Firefox, what we need to do here is come up to the top left hand corner and what we want to do is go to help and then uh, troubleshooting information. This is the area we want to go to. Once we get this open, You'll see a lot of stuff on here. Move over to the right hand side and it will say reset Firefox to its default state. Just want to click on that and be warned all your passwords will be removed and everything. So if you've not got these backed up you need to make sure that you've got these backed up otherwise you will lose them and you will have to restart and, and reinsert them. So what we're going to do here is click finish and that's now cleaned up. Okay, so now we'll look at uh, Oprah here. Now, this one here is slightly different. So what we need to do here is we're going to come down, if you're in Windows 8 it is, I'm going to right click on this, this is Windows 8.1, I'm going to go to File Explorer, or you need to get to uh, this option here where we need to change the view. So I'm going to show hidden items here, like so, and then we're going to go to our C drive, users and then the account that you're using app data roaming and then opera software and then opera stable inside there you will see a file called preferences and this is the file here we need to do here is delete this file okay now once you delete this file I'll just uh, put this down there and open up 
the browser. You'll see the browser reopen. We can now close the browser off. And I'll just open this location back up and you'll see it's now uh, put it back into that folder. And this is the a new version that is added into this folder. So that's all been reset back to default settings. That's how you reset that one. So let's have a look at Safari. The Safari is nice and easy to do. Once you've got Safari open, you want to come up to where it's up the top here where it's got this little cog here. And once you've gone up there, come down to where it says Reset Safari. Leave all the ticks in. This is important. This will make sure that you remove every bit of information on that browser. Make sure you've got all your backups done of your passwords and stuff and hit reset. Once you've done that, when you close the browser and reopen it, it will back to, be back to default settings. Okay. Now this should fix a lot of minor issues, i.e. proxy settings and stuff like that. Now if you have had issues with malware and stuff like that and you've removed it, then this will also reset the browser back to default settings. Okay. If you're still having problems, then you may want to create a new uh, profile of your user or maybe uh, reinstall uh, the actual browser itself. So I hope this helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, then hit the like button, guys. And uh, also, if you want to be a subscriber on my channel to keep up to date when I upload new videos, then hit the subscribe button, okay? And if you want to leave a comment, then do so. But it will be on Google+, and I'm having trouble trying to reply to people with older comments on older videos, okay? So I'm very sorry about that. There's nothing I can do. So I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now. See you in the next video.